Hello, everybody. Well, I tried to use the YouTube uh, web thing, but it's not working, so I gotta do it the long way. Um, been a few things that's happened on the news, and there's, there's one thing that I want to talk about. So, uh, It's the passing of the ultimate warrior. Now, I didn't know the guy personally, you know, just, you know, his on TV persona. But I did get to know a little bit about him by uh, his YouTube videos and stuff like that. Seem to be a, you know, outstanding, straight talking individual. Now, this this thing with Nancy Grace should do her homework before. Saying stuff about people. Maybe she was just pardon the pun. They wanted to do a slam piece on professional wrestling, and she puts up this list of all the wrestlers that had died. And there's a lot of them, there's a few of them on that list. That did not die from steroid use or abuse. Um, one of them was Orn Hart. Everybody, even non wrestling fans, know what happened with him. Um, the other one, Chris Benoit, because he killed himself after murdering his uh, family. Two other ones were Chuck Your Dog and, and Randy Savage. They're both for car accidents. And to make an, an assumption without having the facts is, is beyond me. Now, if she would have done this by any other person, her ass would have been fired right now. But because of it was a professional wrestler, they just push it off to the side. And that's wrong. And, and so on Monday, they had their thing about the Ultimate Warrior. On, uh, on the wall. And on YouTube, you can, on, on Hulu, they have a 90 minute wall thing. You can catch a lot of it on there. If you have them. But my next thing is about Hulk Hogan. Hogan is a liar. And I'll tell you why. Here, at the beginning of the show, he was praising the Ultimate Warrior. Saying that he brought energy, brother. That he brought excitement, brother. And that's what I liked about him, brother. Brother, you are a hypocrite. Because wasn't you the one that said 
and the destruction of the ultimate warrior that DVD you told Vince Vince if you want his legs broken I can do it I can ruin his career you just let me know Hogan did say that and he admitted on numerous occasions that he did not like the ultimate warrior why I don't know maybe because uh, he showed them what he could do without getting juice because I've never heard any rumors about him being juiced up. Maybe he was at one point and he stopped. Maybe he's the one that uh, whispered to the feds that steroid use was being done in the WWE or WWF at that time. Because they never say what the whole thing, what the whole fallout between Vince McMahon and the Ultimate Warrior. They never mention it. But I give kudos to Linda McMahon. She's the one. With the help of uh, Triple H, smooth everything out to get him into the Hall of Fame. Kudos to that. And uh, well, that's about that's about all I have to say about that subject that was in the news. And now, about the uh, incident or incidences in Nevada at the Carl Bundy Ranch with the BM, BLM, the Bureau of land management or I like to call them land grabbers now a lot of people don't know this uh, see the Bureau of Land Management in 1976 I believe was told by Congress To relinquish all rights to a Bureau of Land Management land to the states. Now, they did it for Utah, Kansas, Montana. in New Mexico but for some reason they didn't do it for Idaho I don't know why on that one or Nevada now the Nevada one I can say maybe because of of the uh nuclear test sites that they had I, I don't know I mean it does sound funny that uh, the government wants to uh, 
protect the uh, desert tortoise. But in the 50s and 60s, it was uh, nuking the area that the desert tortoise lived in. And so when Bundy found out that they, they were supposed to do this, so he tried to pay the grazing fees to the state. But the state said that they can't collect that because they're not supposed to. And I don't know what's going on there now, but there's still a lot of stuff that's going on. And I think everybody should be keeping watch on this. And uh, just remember, if you don't think that it can happen to you, it can happen to you. So, this is Lurk saying peace. I'm out of here. And soon I will be making another taste test video. Until then, better good Lord bless you and keep you always in love with one another. Bye.